If Donald Trump went up, right, we're talking about what would happen if a Republican did it. And here I have Peter Schiff mirroring what the whistleblower was going to say about <laughs> from them on Twitter, even though there was no firsthand knowledge. They would say, can you believe this president is lying and he needs to be removed from office? Only he'd be telling the truth. <laughs> So let's focus on Adam Schiff. Uh, he's in the news for his involvement with this scandal. Mm -hmm. Now, here's the thing. It turns out, for people who don't know, that, that Schiff knew about the whistleblower complaint before it was filed. And his team wow. actually advised the whistleblower on how to proceed. And uh, President Trump, this is why he's just the best <laughs> president ever. <laughs> I mean, and I don't mean he's kind of better. Like, if you put him like, well, OK, yeah, where do right. you rank him above, like, McKinley this is why he gets or my people vote. who don't matter? No, no. <laughs> George Washington is a distant second. Wow. <laughs> That's behind behind the president we need. <laughs> he was asked about it and responded like this at a press conference yesterday. There is a report that came out just before you and President Ninishto walked out here that the whistleblower met with the staff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that question. <laughs> it shows that Schiff oh, is man. a fraud. And I, <laughs> you I love that this? question. Thank you, John. So, <laughs> <laughs> He's so bitchy. He <laughs> Thank you, John. Thank you. I love you, John. You're my favorite. Oh, you mean this one? You know this one and right when here. I say favorite, I mean not. <laughs> so here's the thing, Trump. President uh -huh. Trump is right. Not only did Schiff secretly communicate with the whistleblower, he lied about it. Which brings us to this week's What a Piece of Schiff! <laughs> Took hours <Love> that, yeah. <laughs> to <laughs> change it over to Schiff. It was crazy. <laughs> a whole, it's a whole paradigm shift. I think we have a clip. Yeah, <laughs> oh, and we, it's not a super long clip, but I think it provides context. Uh, not only did he communicate, he, he lied about the whistleblower and communicating with him. We have not spoken directly with the whistleblower. Uh, we would like to. Oh. There you have it. Straight oh, really? from the dick's oh. mouth. Really? Mm. Really? Mm. That's interesting. I guess it's more of a glands penis at that point, <laughs> if you're talking about a mouse. Uh, more of a Clydesdale. Yeah. <laughs> has a mane. So, Schiff, Horse by the size. way, here's something important to note. This is, the more you unpeel the layers to this onion, the more enraged you will, you, you will find yourself. Yeah. He was mirroring, actually, the whistleblower's talking points on Twitter over a month ago to give a false sense of corroboration, right? Wow. Because people see it and go, well, hold on a second. Well, this, yeah. sounds, like what, this sounds like what that yeah. Schiff character said. K keep in mind, well, the, the whistleblower doesn't have any firsthand knowledge of the event. No. Right? There's, it's just, oh, someone said that Donald yeah. Trump yeah. did something. Somebody said something. Then he went to Schiff. And Schiff turned around and corroborated it preemptively. <laughs> what is he corroborating? The complaint. They didn't have any, there was no firsthand knowledge of it in the first place. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Someone said something. It. I'm going to go on Twitter and, and I'm going to lay the foundation right. that, so, yeah. that this happened, that someone said something, and yeah. then you'll come out, and then I'll tell them that I didn't talk with you yeah. about it. Also, I, I mean, I'm, I might kill myself. Right. So uh, here's another example. Schiff, he claimed that Trump. Uh, tried to get dirt from the Ukraine, right, yeah. on his political opponents. That's kind of the, the, the crux of this. Yeah. Right. Well, here's something else. If we're talking, and I don't want to do the whataboutism, because I don't think this is a whataboutism. No. I don't think there's a direct comparison. I think that what Schiff has done is far, far worse. <laughs> Let me explain. And I have videographic evidence. Take that, young Turks. Just Google it. How about <laughs> you do it? So nice. Schiff himself <laughs> tried to get Tried to pro procure, I'm trying to use more oh. official terms oh, here. There you go. Mm. Uh, nude pictures of President Trump from the Ukrainians. But here's the thing. The Ukrainians turned out to be R Russian pranksters. Oh. They were comedians, and they, they pulled the wool over his eyes. Okay. And, and what's the nature of the compromise? Well, there were pictures of naked Trump. Uh, when they were in Ukraine, we got their conversation by the phone where they are discussed those uh, compromising materials. We are ready to provide it to FBI. So we will try to work with the FBI to figure out, uh, along with your staff, how we can obtain copies of those. Of course, we will provide you all our copies of all our materials. Okay, first off, uh, I guess we'll just ignore uh, the raging homoerotic undertones. Right, yeah. You know, they tried weird. to come after Ben Shapiro because he said no one, no one has described Brett Kavanaugh's penis, which is kind of a trend now with rapists. Yeah. It happened with Michael Jackson, happened yeah, with yeah. Bill Cosby. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right there, did you hear Schiff? He's like, oh, well, can you send me, uh, can you send me the photo negatives? <laughs> I got a... I got a private I like the photo negatives because like it like reminds a, me of when I would try and scramble the satellite signal when I was a kid and I couldn't actually afford it. And my <laughs> parents were in the next room. It is amazing to me. He was trying to find oh nude gosh. pictures. And by the way, nude pictures, that's not even a scandal. 
That's no. not illegal. Yeah. It's, like, it's just okay. embarrassing. Especially with this president. Do you think he would actually care? He's like, that's the best body. Come on, look at that. <laughs> oh, I, think that president, I think President Trump He would care. wouldn't it's care. The biggest, Come I, on. I don't know. He would turn uh, it on. By the way, hit the notification bell. Uh, join Mug Club if you haven't already. $99 annually, 69 for students, veteran acts of active military. And uh, just check the page. We do a new yeah. segment yeah. every single day because, as you've seen, uh, <laughs> do it. <laughs> Facial Air Fillishman, you know. <laughs> yes, no, stop it's talking about it. It's hard out Thank here you. for a content creator. <laughs> would be easier if I were a pimp. Their it channels, yes, they're yes. on the recommended feed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. How to backhand a bitch. Trending. Come. So that, that would, that would right. work better. At the Trending. top. But yeah. then if we talk about Schiff, I don't know why we get throttled. Yeah, we do. Maybe it should just be backhanding Schiff. <laughs> Here's another example here why I think he's absolutely just a stunning. I mean, it's a skill as to how piece of shitty he is. Uh, remember when the, the, the texts of um, the FBI agents, remember, was it Page and, and Stroke, they were released? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we had direct evidence of FBI agents saying that they wouldn't let Trump get elected because they had, quote, insurance policies in case he did. All right. That's Schiff not scary. <laughs> responded that the FBI heavily favored Trump over Clinton. Here you go. They were very selective in what they released. There were multiple reports last year that the FBI was heavily predisposed against Hillary Clinton uh, and in favor of Donald Trump. You know, and here's the, huh? here's the thing. He's not necessarily wrong depending on who's mm -hmm. working there at the FBI. Right. I think we all assume there can be bias because people, human beings yeah. have biases, yeah. right? right? Yeah, sure. But when Trump does that, when he says, oh, Kobe's a hacker, Mueller, listen, this is a witch hunt, they try to accuse him of obstruction yeah. <laughs> for doing exactly what Schiff is doing there. Here's another example. Uh, Schiff, he's, he's known, this is something people don't know, he's known, it's kind of his, his raison d'etre uh, oh. for leaking repeatedly private info to the press and then lying about it. CNN is running quotes from noon on about my testimony. It, you know, testimony. <laughs> Does mean, he have a cold? My testimony. What's going on in there? <laughs> so Since he's never met a camera he didn't love, I I would bet a lot of money that it was him. All right, you heard. Uh, you you got the point. Uh, you want to respond? Uh, yeah, sure. He you know he's been making this claim all along. Just to be precise, yes or no? Did you leak any of the information from his testimony? No, uh, I don't leak. Uh, well, <laughs> beg to first differ. Off, how do you get caught flat-footed by Wolf lowest score ever on Celebrity <laughs> Jeopardy Blitzer? <laughs> and I will say this may, with uh, this specific true. clip: maybe we cannot prove that he's lying, but he's still a piece of. Sh yeah, <laughs> that's the key takeaway. Yeah, I think it's pretty. His, yeah. And he's going to say, "Trust me." And here's something Don't else I would it. love to. I defer to a half Asian lawyer Bill Richmond. This yeah. during the Mueller investigation, Schiff he repeatedly claimed that um, he had seen beyond circumstantial evidence that Trump had colluded with Russia, even after Mueller ruled that there, there, there was no evidence of collusion. People say hey, the report didn't say no collusion. Well, hold on a second. It just says there's no evidence of it. You can say that about anything. Someone who gets off for any crime, like, well, the fact that he wasn't convicted of shoplifting does doesn't mean that he didn't do it, but there's no evidence. So he's not guilty of it. That's how society works, correct? Absolutely. We have a legal system, and if there is no evidence and you are not convicted, it means you didn't commit the crime in the eyes of the law, right? That's exactly. That's what that's exactly why we have the system is to be able to call balls and strikes, make it don't make it done, and then move along. And here what I find hilarious is the example that he has beyond circumstantial evidence. It's like it's like the beyond meat impossible burger, right? It's like, no, it's not actually <laughs> meat, exist. and this is not actually evidence. Right. You actually have to have something, and when he's asked repeatedly and repeatedly, repeatedly, he dances around. Well, we didn't actually talk to him and well, we didn't actually get direct evidence, but like we put, if you put together the right. different inferences and lies, then it's a story. Yes. If you put, <laughs> here's what's important. If you put together different inferences, accusations, and of course, keeping in the front of your mind at all times that I am a piece of shit, I think <laughs> you will come to see this <laughs> issue in a new light. Here's actually a clip of him doing just that. All you have right now is a circumstantial case. Uh, actually, no, Chuck. Uh, I, I can tell you that the case is more than that, uh, oh, and I can't so? go into the particulars. Oh, but there is more than circumstantial evidence now. So, um, again, I think so you have Clapper, seen direct evidence of collusion. Uh, I don't want to go into specifics, <laughs> but I would say that there is evidence that is not circumstantial. As I've said along, there's plenty of evidence of collusion and corrupt uh, commingling of uh, work between the Trump campaign and the Russians. Oh. Good lord. Oh. I mean, just That's, for, by the way, unless you think we're editing him out of context, 
he never did provide specifics. I never think, I mean, <laughs> yeah, in no, that yeah. interview, and you're waiting for it, don't hold your breath. Yeah. Yeah. Google don't it. You Google it. A lot of people haven't seen this. It only trended for yeah. two hours yeah. on Twitter. And it was gone. And then it was gone. I'm going, Ooh, hold on a second. Yeah. This is, <laughs> in my opinion, as bad as it gets. It's as bad as anything I've ever seen in the political arena. When people talk about the right and the left are dividing us, I go, no, 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 hold on a second. Let's not do the equivalency here because have you seen shitty Schiff? He made up <laughs> an entire dialogue of Trump's phone call with the Ukrainian president. I want you to see him doing this here, presenting this as though it was fact. He expresses his interest in meeting with the president and says his country wants to acquire more weapons from us to defend itself. And what is the president's response? Well, it reads like a classic organized crime shakedown. I hear what you want. I have a favor I want Human. from you. None of this though. happened. No. <laughs> and I'm going to say this only seven times, so you better listen good. I want you to make up dirt on my political opponent. Understand lots of it. Now, I know some of you are asking, oh, wow. because I get it. It's, it's, it's difficult today in our polarized society to know, okay, who's exaggerating? Right. Where are you stretching? Because everyone does, especially for comedy, we do that. Yeah. So you're wondering how much, what percentage of that, if we were to put a number on it, uh, is, is accurate? Um, zero. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> none at all. None of that ever happened. And here's something that's so dishonest, too, when you watch it. He, he, he's reading it, and at one point he looks up and looks back down and goes, uh, though, as though he missed a word that <laughs> yeah, he's reading yeah, from right. an official transcript. Yeah. He, may, he tried to clearly I imply that this was an official transcript. Yeah. And then when he was called on it, this was his response, that it was parody. My summary of the president's call was meant to be at least part in parody. What a piece what? of shit. Wow. What a piece of shit. Think like, about guys, that really for a second. Comedian? You know, when, you, when, when Donald Trump talked about, uh, people got all upset because he would talk about changing libel laws, right? And this was yeah. really just to try and get media to stand out. We weren't happy about it. How is that not slander? Right, yeah. Right. Think about that for a second. He read it as though it's a transcript. And he tried to yeah. get all high and mighty saying, oh, if people didn't understand its parody, that's a whole new problem. <laughs> Implying, like, because Donald Trump says such crazy stuff that you thought it was real when I made up stuff that Donald Trump said that was crazy that never really happened. But I told you he said crazy stuff. And so you tend to believe that this crazy stuff is crazy stuff he would say. But I'm just a piece of shit. <laughs> it is remarkable to me that this was allowed to go. It is this is, I think that is worthy of being forcibly removed from office. I yeah. really do. To me, that's just a per. Now, I don't mean violently. No. I mean, this guy should be forced to resign in absolute shame. I can't think of anything that would personify fake news more than reading from a fake transcript. And by the way, the reason he's doing that is because he knows that most people who are not hyperly engaged, unlike the people in this room, or often people who are watching this show or reading in the comment section, he knows they're going to walk by the TV screen, see this, and go, oh my God, I can't believe our president did that. Right, I can't right. believe he said that yeah. and they're not going to see yeah. the aside where he says oh, it was clearly parody just like you don't see the slander you don't see the libel uh, you do see it sorry that occurs on the front page and then the apology the retraction is issued two weeks later on page yeah. eight yeah he knew exactly what he was doing and by the way just to go into the ukraine thing a little bit democrats they've repeatedly reached out to foreign countries including the ukraine for Donald yeah. trump okay so at worst at the absolute worst schiff is just accusing trump of what he has done himself <laughs> only donald trump hasn't done it his right. accusations are false. The favor that Trump asked for was investigating foreign meddling in a U.S. election, specifically in regards to there was a company called CrowdStrike. Not Biden as Schiff was trying. I don't want to say Schiff suggests. Right. I mean, Schiff didn't suggest It's not it. suggesting. It's it's direct statement. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's. That, but it's not even a direct statement because it wasn't a real statement. Or, oh, no, 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 no. It what, is entirely no, no. a fabrication. Schiff, what Schiff's saying is actually true. Right. It wasn't that Schiff suggested that these things were happening. He made express statements yeah. intended to deceive yeah. the public about what was said that is fraud right, right there that's what it is it's not yeah it's not what what he said happened isn't true but it is true that shift it's, it's like the inception of shit. yes exactly yes. and by the way i thought we cared a whole hell of a lot about fair elections russian meddling in our elections we have to get to the bottom of that that was the entire thing we heard from day one of his campaign now he asks about it happening in ukraine right. and we're like oh you can't ask a foreign well, government and, and, that right and to be fair later on in the call uh, 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 it was mentioned that you know biden uh, shut down uh, this this prosecutor the investigation of the yes. company his son yep. worked for it was it was a minor point and here's something that i think is important right there there's a lot that we don't know and that's why we try not to just offer nothing more than than uh than conjecture because maybe some more info could come out you know and people who stand firmly on their opinions when there's not enough info right. sometimes they don't really age very well but i do think it's important to look at 
what we do know and compare it with what they've said that is verifiably false. Right. For yeah. example, yeah. Very important. we know for sure that that was not a transcript and then he said it was parody. We know for sure that Schiff said Donald Trump was withholding military aid unless uh, they inv unless they investigated the, or sorry, fired the prosecutor. Yeah. That's what they said. But here's if you understand it, Trump never threatened that at all. It wasn't even mentioned. The Ukraine officials did not know about the change in military foreign aid until a month after the call. <laughs> Yeah. So Oops. again, what you, you can't know <laughs> everything, like but you can know what they've said that is false, and you can know certain facets of the story that are true. The things that we know to be true, they've already proactively lied about. Right. That's important for people to think of. That's important for people to point out. And I don't want to get into the minutiae of it because, uh, like I said, Glenn Beck has yeah. a, a special to Blaze TV, a whole thing about the Ukraine live after this. Um, is there anything else you guys want to say about it? You know, the thing is to me, they know exactly what they're doing. I don't want to ascribe ulterior motives. We've always tried to do that on the show. Yeah. Or if we do change my mind, or when we actually have debates, like we've had in the show with, with politicians, yeah. with professors, you know, with, with people who are, who are worthy adversaries, I always try to assume that they are being sincere. But... This is a ra this is an yeah. exception. It's a, I don't even want to say it's a radical exception. He went up there and lied and read yeah. from a transcript that didn't exist. And when he yeah. and when he was called on it, said, "Well, you know what? That was meant to be parody. What, what did you think it was? Well, you know what? I yeah. think most people thought it was what you intended it to be, which was a lie that you wanted to be accepted wholesale as truth. I don't. I didn't say this with Hillary Clinton. People are like, in fact, she needs to be put in jail. I never jumped on that train. I don't like Nancy Pelosi. It's crazy to me that she's the reasonable one in the party. Yeah, now yeah, think about that crazy. for a second. Nancy, Nancy Pelosi. Yeah. We have when you have AOC, Schiff, Bernie Sanders, Pelosi. You're like, well, right. you know what? I guess I would have her over for Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> <laughs> My comparison. There's a I mean, bridge too fine. far. If Donald Trump went up, right? We're talking about what would happen if a Republican did it. Okay, let's do this little walk it through this exercise here. And here I have Peter Schiff mirroring what the whistleblower was going to say about <laughs> from them on Twitter, even though there was no first-hand knowledge. And Schiff knew there was no first-hand knowledge. He said he was going to go out and lie and fabricate a transcript for the world to see. They would say, can you believe this president is lying and he's to be removed from office? Only he'd be telling the truth. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. That's, With video evidence. That is how insane this has become. It's not yeah. whataboutism. It is far worse-ism as it relates to piece of Schiff, Adam Schiff. <laughs> Hey, I hope you enjoyed this clip. If you don't, these are the ABCs of me, baby. You can just click next video and put it in double speed. Uh, of course, search doesn't necessarily work. Subscriptions, notifications don't necessarily work. Just bookmark this page, check in. We do a new video every single day, except for Sunday. And if you don't want this content to disappear, join Mug Club at ladderwithcredit.com slash mug club. It's only $69 if you're a student, veteran, or active military. And um, if you don't, you know, listen, I, I don't want to say that you're hellbound, but it, it doesn't look good for you.